Hey friends, Patrick God here and welcome to this new Entity Framework Core tutorial. You've read the title, so you know what we're going to do next. We will have a look at the include, the then include and also the auto include functions. I prepared this already a little bit, meaning there is a GitHub repository available for you. So please check out the video description below and there you will already find implementations, basic implementations, all the boilerplate stuff for Entity Framework. So there you will find the data context you will find the connection string with the connection to a SQL Server database. And with all that, we already created three entities, comic, team and superheroes. So comics will have teams and teams will have superheroes. These are our relations. If you want to dive a little bit deeper into relationships, please check out this video here because there we will cover all the relationships in uh, Entity Framework or in a SQL Server database, a relational database in essence. Anyways, here now we want to include our teams and superheroes into the comics. All right, I think that's it for the introduction. And and uh, now we can already start with the tutorial, but first, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel or at least click the like button. This would really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And maybe don't forget to click the bell icon to get a notification when a new video is uploaded currently once a week. Maybe you also want to subscribe to my newsletter. In that case, you would get early access to these kind of YouTube videos, but also to upcoming online courses. The Blazer e-commerce online course is coming this month, I hope. Really big one, the biggest I created so far, I think. And uh, yeah, also you get coupon codes and some other information you won't get when you, well, have not subscribed to my newsletter. So thank you very much. I promise I won't spam you. I send emails at most once a week. And last not least, my coffee is already empty, but still thank you so, so much for all your coffee, your coffees, all your donations. This means the world to me. Thank you so much because with that, I'm able to stay awake when my little boy is asleep and then make all these videos. Okay, I think that's it for the intro. And now let's dive into Visual Studio and Entity Framework Core. So here is the solution. As I already told you, uh, you can see I made some changes here because I finished the implementations already and put that to GitHub. Again, have a look at the video description for the URL. And as you can see here now, this is already the data context and I added uh, some seeding here, I seeded some data, but first maybe short uh, overview here, we have again, three entities. First a comic, which has an ID, a name, and the list of teams. This team then has an ID, a name, and a comic ID for the relationship. And then also the superheroes, and these are the superheroes ID name and the team ID. And with that, again, here the data context, I am able to seed the data. We've got Marvel and DC, Avengers and the Justice, Justice League, and then also Spider-Man, Iron Man, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Okay, and here are the database sets for our entities. I did not update the database yet. I wanna do this with you together. So let's open the package manager console or first Real quick, the app settings for the connection string. Here's my database, local, local host, so SQL Express, it is late. Sorry about that. Superhero DB is the database and trusted connection is true. And then here in the program CS, you can see the new uh, program CS of .NET 6. We've got, uh, here's the registration for the SQL server. And I learned lately that I actually can do this in just one line, I think. Maybe I can uh, I can make another video about that. There are lots of changes on uh, or with Entity Framework 6 in .NET 6, uh, but um, I think this works as well. So package manager console, and then we have to go to the folder efcore-tutorial.net 6. Let's have a look, there we are. And now real quick with .NET EF, we can check the current version, 6.0.1 it is. We've got our migrations file here already. As you can see, we would create some tables, comics, teams, and the superheroes with some primary and foreign keys, that's nice. And I hope now with .NET EF database update, 
this should create the database with the data as well. Build succeeded, that's nice. Yep, something is happening here. And now let's have a look at the SQL Server Management Studio when it is starting. And there it is. And in a second, I hope, when my machine wants to, then we are able to see the new database. We connect and there it is with some other databases that's not important for us now. But we've got our superhero database. We've got the comics. Let's have a look at the data already. That worked nice. We've got the teams and also our superheroes. Okay, now how do we get the data? I'm sure you know that already when, you watch, when you're when you watching this video or you just want to learn something. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you really learned something here. What I'm going to do now is adding a new controller, which would be the comic controller. And then we will do this step by step. We will first just simply get the comics and then have a look at the result. And after that, we try to include the other data. So we add a new controller. That's the menu entry I was looking for. It's an empty API controller. And we call this thing now comic controller. There it is. And the first thing we need is a constructor because we want to inject the data context. So CTOR it is and then hit tab twice for the built in snippet here. And now let's inject the data context, call it context, and we want to create and assign the field context. And I updated Visual Studio, and with that, I see now that my configuration is gone. This is crazy. So usually, this underscore here uh, was added by default, and now this is gone. Microsoft, that's not nice, really not nice, but okay, I can fix that. All right, after that, we add a new HTTP GET method. And this is a public async method returning a task with an action result. I wanna see the type in Spagger, that's why I'm not using the I action result interface here as a return type. I'm using the class with, or the implementation class, with uh, the uh, type that we wanna return, and this is simply a comic. Or no, that's not true. It's actually a list of comics. So like that, let's just call this method get. That's okay. And now here, our comics are await context comics and then to list async. Come on, async it is. All right, that's it. And now we return Okay, and then the comics, there it was already. That's the one. Okay, so far so good. Pretty simple, I know, but let's let's have a look. So we start the app, and now in a second, Swagger should come up. There it is on the other screen, and we see the types, that's awesome. And also here, the function, try it out, hit execute. And there are our comics, but as you can see, teams are empty, not nice. And here you can see uh, the the example return, not to type, the, the example return result. That's the term I was looking for. So actually we of course wanna see the teams of all the comics and inside the teams, we also wanna see the superheroes. So how can we do that now? We go back to Visual Studio and it's really simple. We just add this awesome function here, includes with a little lambda expression. So for every comic here, we also wanna include the teams and that's it. We save this. Now let's go back to Swagger. I hope rebuilding worked here. We try this out, hit execute. And yes, that actually really is it already. We've got the teams now. So we see the Avengers with their ID. We see the Justice League um, for the DC comics. 
Is it, what does DC stand for actually? Do you know that? I, I was always thinking this stands for Detective Comics and that's why I'm not sure if DC Comics, when you say DC Comics, does it really mean Detective Comics Comics? Is this the right term? I don't know. If you know that, please write it down in the, co uh, in the co not in the comics, in the comments below. <laughs> that would be really nice. Okay, so anyways, this is the include function. Now, one thing I want to mention here, if there's anything else you want to include, you can uh, do that either with uh, an AND statement like that or you can also just add another include because the um, the funny thing here now is the then include function and you also see here ignore auto includes this is also interesting uh, but this is uh, something we'll do at the end so first what I want to show you is the then include and the, this, is, this is really important if there's something in your comics you want to include. You call the include function. If there's something else, not the teams, maybe, I don't know, um, there are any publishers, for instance, you want to include as well, then you would also use the include function here. Then include does not mean, okay, I'm including the teams, and then I want to include also the publishers, then I also want to include, I don't know, something else. That's not how it works. Then include really means, okay, you've included the teams and now from the teams, I want to include something else. So it really is the next, the next step, the next layer as you want, the next relation in essence. So for the teams now, and you can see it here, um, the superheroes are suggested. This is what we want to include. And if you now have a similar relationship, in your comic, so for instance, you want to include publishers and then also the authors, something like that. I don't know when you would have something like um, another property here with the list of publisher. I think you get the idea. And then you would have your publisher entity and in the publisher entity, you then have the authors. And then you would do something like that. You would again add include but this time with the with the publishers and let's just add a C for the comics and then for the publishers you want to include the authors then you would have to do it like that okay hope this is clear but let's test the superheroes now so I saved this app is not able to rebuild okay and maybe we have to restart the app by ourselves Yep, now it works and let's hit execute and now we also see our heroes. Isn't that nice? So we've got the Avengers and the Avengers uh, have Spider-Man and Iron Man for instance and the Justice League consists of Batman and Wonder Woman and of course more heroes but I am too lazy to add all of them. So this is how you can do it here. And if you're too lazy and do not want to do this every single time and you do not care that you would include the teams in this example every single time you, um, you want to get the comics, so you actually don't want to control this here, you just want to automatically include the entities, then you can do it in another way. And this way, let me just uncomment that and test this again. So. We really see that the, are, uh, the entities are not included. But the other way then is again in the data context in the on model creating method in essence. Let's just double check here, execute. Yeah, now it's empty, that's great. And now we go back to the data context and here we see that the data, this is the method we need. And again for that we need the model builder and we have to do that for a certain entity, like the comic, for instance. And then we call the navigation method. And we say for the comics, for the teams of the comics, we want to auto include them. What does the description say? Configures whether this navigation should be automatically included in a query. Pretty simple, right? And 
again we can do this for the teams and the superheroes so for the teams team entity we want to include our superheroes let's save this and now let's have a look again did it already rebuild i don't know let's execute this did not work let's try it again not sure if this is yeah okay was rebuilt now this works all right and that's actually everything i wanted to show you again this is on github so please check out the video description and again i hope you really learned something so now you know about the include then include and auto include function again if you learned something i'd really appreciate it if you click the like button and even subscribe to my channel thank you very much for that don't forget the bell icon apart from that maybe you want to subscribe to my newsletter to get early access free access other stuff and last not least as always again thank you so so much for all the coffee all your donations all your support it means the world to me thank you so much to everyone who does that links are in the video description if you want to do that as well so again thank you very much for watching thank you for your time and i hope to see you next time take care